everybody, it's Andy, and I am doing my first ever book haul video. Now, I do want to admit, if any of you watched my first video, it has been a slow process to actually start booktube. Um, and so I actually have about three months worth of books. I've been good. I'm shocked by how good I have been the last three months. I only have 12 books to show to you guys. And honestly, half of them I've bought in the last two weeks. So um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and dive on into this. The first two books in Jojo Moy's series, um, Me Before You and After You. I watched the movie and I have to tell you that I am so in love with the movie, mainly because of the actors that they chose, but I do have to admit I have not read these yet. Um, I specifically got these because I really wanted to read them and I wanted to see what happened next because they made the first one into a movie and I don't know if they're going to make the second one into a movie, but I want to find out what happens. Um, so those are the first two that I got. Something that has been popular in the last few months, especially since the movie came out, is Everything Everything. Um, so I will admit, again, I have not read this yet. I have heard really good things about it. And again, I watched the movie before I read the book. Um, and it got a 4.11 out of 5 on Book Reads. So I'm excited to read this because it, look, it looks really cool. One, I love the cover. I mean, look at this. But two, it's got like, like some of them are like text messages some of them are like pictures so i thought they had pictures i thought they had like drawings somewhere in here maybe they don't maybe i'm lying to you please don't tell me i'm lying to you oh yeah i'm right see they got like pictures and stuff this is like really cool how it was written so i'm excited to read that um the next one I, there's a theme here um is nicholas sparks the longest ride which again, I have watched the movie, but I have not read the book. Um, I almost wish I could have gotten the film tie-in of the book, but I'm really happy that I got this one because I like the way this one looks. Even though I'm not exactly happy that it's paperback, um, it was like two bucks, I think, because that's usually where I buy my books at the bargain store in the clearance section, and that's where I got this. Um, so I'm really excited to read this. Don't know when it's gonna happen, but I added it to my collection, so I'm very happy. The next one is something that I have not seen the movie series. Um, I haven't, like, I know there's a few, there's at least two versions of this that, but it's such a classic that I'm like, I need to, to read this. It is Dr. Zhivago. So for any of you that don't know what Dr. Zhivago is, he's a poet, he's a philosopher, and... Uh, physician as well um, and it's essentially based around the time of the Russian Revolution and it follows his journey and um, his journey through love and how the Russian Revolution affects his life um, and again it looks really good I really love the cover that I got it looks really pretty um, so that's another one that I got the next book is the third book in a series that I have read the first book of. Um, the first book is The Princess Academy. The second book is The Princess Academy Palace of Stone. And then the third one which I got in this haul was Princess Academy The Forgotten Sister. Um, and real quick just to go over what the first one is, um, I can't go too into detail because it will give away um, the plot of the first one and like some big spoilers and I don't want to do that to you guys. The Princess Academy follows the main character Miri. She lives in the mountains um, in a little village um, and it's a, this mining village and she is a part of this world where the country, the way that they choose their queen is that um, the priests of the realm choose a province um, and then all of the eligible ladies, um, I believe it's between the ages of 14 and 18. I can't actually remember, but um, they are all taken to a princess academy um, somewhere in the realm. Um, and it's usually in that province. It has been years and years, and years since the country has chosen a queen from this village. And um, Miri is, of course, one of the 
eligible ladies. Um, and there's a little bit of like mystery and a little bit of um, magical powers, if you will, that you find out. But it's essentially how Miri and the girls that she's living with deals with being thrown into this world where they have to compete to essentially be the next queen when some of them aren't even sure they want to be the next queen. Um, and it follows her and how she gets through that. Um, and they, they have to be in this academy for a year. So they have to be away from their families for an entire year, learning things they never thought they would have to learn and experiencing things that they really never thought that they were gonna experience. The second one and the third one look really good. So I'm just gonna move on to the next one. Oh my word. So again, another thing that in the last year or so has been very, very popular is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I don't even think I said her name right, but I don't care. Um, I did not get this one. I got the second one in this book haul, which is um, Hollow City. Um, I've read the first three chapters of the first one. I am so sad that I stopped reading it and I got sidetracked and now I have to start rereading it again. But I loved the movie, I loved the concept, and so I'm really excited to uh, get into this and I'm really happy that I found the second one. There seems to be a theme here. I picked a lot of books that are from movie adaptations. So yeah. Um, but I got the first Maze Runner, which I was so excited about because even though there are some people that didn't really like the concept of Maze Runner, it has been um, at least popular enough to warrant two movies out of it. Uh, and I'm really hoping that they're doing a third. I don't know if they are. I really hope I, that they are. Shout out to any Maximum Ride fans. I am so happy that I got this. Shout out to Piara Ford, who is obsessed with Maximum Ride. Um, I got Maximum Ride School's Out Forever. I got the second book in the series, which I'm so shocked that I did not have this. Um, but I'm also really happy because it's technically a first edition. And not that that like is a big, big thing, but I mean, I'm, I'm just really happy I got a first edition. That's a really nice um, uh, hard copy and I'm just I'm so happy I finally got this. So I, I'm obviously very excited. Next on my list of book haul things, I'm getting very close to the end by the way, um, I actually bought both of these in the same series about like two months apart from each other. I bought the first one, which is the Looking Glass Wars. So excited that I got this and it's in hardcover and just look at this thing. It looks fantastic. Um, I have been seeing this on like recommendations and like people that have, that have read it and I have not sat down and read it yet and now I have a copy. So I don't have an excuse not to read it. Um, so there's that. And then about two months later, actually like a week and a half ago I bought a hard copy of Arc Enemy which is the third in the Looking Glass Wars series um, I know I should have the second one but I didn't because I was in the bargain area and I wanted it and it was hardcover so I got it um, but for any of you that don't know what the Looking Glass Wars is hopefully you can infer that it is Alice in Wonderland related um, and it's a twist and concept on um, how everything works in the Alice in Wonderland world. It follows, um, I don't know if you actually pronounce it Alice or Elise, um, but it, I think it's Alice Hart. Um, she is an orphan and she is trying to escape her murderous Aunt Red. Obviously we can infer that she is the Queen of Hearts. Um, and she ends up finding her way into Victorian England and she runs into none other than Lewis Carroll, um, an aspiring author. Um, and she tells him her story. Um, and it's about how her world works through that. Um, and I'm not sure what continues on in that, but it all follows that same realm. So I'm really excited to read that. Next book on my book haul um, is the second book of this book haul that I actually have read and I actually finished this book like last week 
and I was actually reading it from a library version and then I found this at a bargain store and I was so happy I actually found this at Half Price Books and even though it was on the regular shelves I decided that I just had to have it and it was in pristine condition and again I got really obsessed because it is a first edition and I don't know why but I'm just being obsessed with that right now so it is the fourth and final installment of the Lunar Chronicles Oh my goodness, for any of you that have not read The Lunar Chronicles, I feel sorry for you. Um, and you need to go out and read it right now because it is fantastic. Um, all four of them are retellings of um, classic Grimm's fairy tales. They are just so phenomenal. The first one is uh, Cinder, which obviously follows a um, this futuristic world's version of Cinderella. The second is uh, Scarlet, and that um, follows that this world's version of Little Red Riding Hood and then there is Cress which follows this world's version of uh, Rapunzel and then finally we get to Winter which was like the longest book it was like over 800 pages in the series and it follows Snow White this world's version of Snow White and I just have to say I'm probably gonna do a review on this book because I was so in love with it and the series is so fantastic. I cried through the last 200 pages because of how much emotion was going on in this thing. Um, and I am very, I'm usually not happy when a series ends, but I feel like with everything that went on in the series, it ended exactly how it needed to. And I'm not going to go any further into that because I just, I can't spoil this for you. You have to go out and read it, start from the beginning with Cinder and then get to winter, winter and then read the short stories of Stars Above. Um, you just have to. Thank you guys so much for watching this. This was my first book haul video and I just have to say it was so much fun sharing all of these books with you. Um, I'm going to put all of the um, links to Goodreads on each of the books down below, a list of them. Um, along with the list of the books in the rest of the series. Um, I'm also going to put um, information um, on all of my social media, so please go follow me and please subscribe. And I'm just so grateful for anyone that has decided to watch this video, and I thank you. Um, so you guys have a nice day and a nice week, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!